Born into slavery in the final months of the Civil War, George Washington Carver rose to become one of the best known and widely respected African Americans in the world. Henry Ford called him the world's greatest living scientist. Presidents and poor black farmers alike praised him. Mahatma Gandhi's assistant asked him for advice in creating a vegetarian diet for the Indian activists. Groups as different as the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People and the United Daughters of the Confederacy honored him. He's a usable hero for Americans, and uh, I think that's a disservice to Carver. I think he is important for a lot of reasons other than that. In reality, Carver was a complicated man. Thousands of people around the world held warm affection for him and regarded him as a personal friend. Yet Carver never married, lived alone in a dormitory room most of his adult life, seldom socialized, and worked by himself in his laboratory. He was known for his humility and simplicity, wearing a tattered suit adorned by a single flower in his lapel. He devoted his life to helping African-American farmers suffering the oppression of racism, poverty, and ignorance. He used to quote this little poem called, It's Service That Measures Success. And that, the gist of it was it isn't the price of the clothes that you're wearing or the number of servants who come at your call. It's service that measures success. He stated things simply and beautifully. And that's, that's one thing that I think makes him so relevant is that he's accessible.